Chris, the dating doc, and I'm going to do a dating doc raw because I'm going to go in, okay? I'm not feeling in this kind of nice mood right now because there's a lot of lack of common sense when it comes to dating. What I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about the one-two combo that's needed. That's so easy, but a lot of people are forgetting nowadays. Being a good conversationalist and being cooperative. That's it. It's that easy. What is the opposite of that? The opposite is being argumentative and dry come on now if you can have a conversation with someone that's how you build chemistry when you build chemistry you build attraction when you build attraction you build lust you build investment you want to work something with that person you want it you want to be like you know what okay now now they're sticking out they are outstanding that resume is getting up on my list of ones that will accept the job the job, what do I mean by that? It could be a full-blown relationship. It could be a situationship. It could be something that is kind of like a relationship, but not so exclusive, whatever you want to define it, but it's something special, something different. So that's the conversation piece. And a lot of folks are missing it nowadays. Let's break it down. Online dating. What is online dating being reduced to now? You got one emoji or one word messages, something about hi or hey. Okay, that don't tell me nothing. That don't tell me nothing. And for some reason, people that say they're looking for love or whatever they're looking for, companionship, you know, friends of benefit, whatever, they claim, but they're they are making the effort. Not even a sloth. They make a sloth makes more movements than the effort they make when it comes to online dating. Then when it comes to offline, when they're going out and about and they see each other, all right, they may. They may meet at a bar, a little, a little bit of a you know communication exchange, and then after that, boom. Okay, they exchange text messages, they exchange IG, Snapchat, and what do they do? They do the same thing they're doing on dating apps. Hey, what's up? W Y D. Come on now, H M U. Hit me up, people. You, I'm telling you right now, even the chat bots. You know, you know those fake chat bots that try to hit you up and they sent you links and all this stuff, but they're, they're fake. They got more conversation skills nowadays than a real human. So from the jump, from the rip, you have got to have some sort of conversation skills. Quit being dry. Right now, all of you are becoming these clones of each other where you got zero communication skills. Work on that. Bring up a book you're reading. If you're not reading a book, read a damn book. We need some more attention span nowadays. If you're watching a Netflix series, okay, talk about a plot. Talk about a lesson learned from the, the episode itself. Don't just talk about, oh, cool, here's a little filtered uh, selfie that I took. What's up? What you doing? How's your, uh, good afternoon. How you doing? Good. What about you? Good. Come on, people. And, and these are folks, grown folks doing this. You got to be fluid. You got to have a story to you when you're trying to conversate and you're trying to... Uh, you're trying to develop chemistry with that person. You got to think of them. It's kind of this unshaped piece of clay. And as you get to know them, you are shaping it into something of art. But if you're not basic communication, you're still going to be that lump of clay. Conversation skills are paramount nowadays because guess what? Everyone is so basic that when you have a good conversation, you stick out. It's that simple. All right, so I already talked about that. I talked about the importance of conversation skills. The other one is cooperate. Cooperate. The opposite of that is you just want to fight all the time. You want to prove your point, but you don't want to listen to the other side. It's happening nowadays. People don't want to hold themselves accountable. They're, they'd rather be like, you better be part of XYZ movement, but they don't want to hear you out on your personality, personality, your value system, what matters to you when it comes to dating? No, they don't want to hear any of that. All they want to do is argue. How are you going to find someone and keep someone if all you want to do is argue? Pride is the enemy when it comes to this. I, I mean, I, I'm not even kidding. I have ran into clients, clients that pay for my services. They know something's wrong. They know for some reason they're not making that connection with someone. But what do they do? 
They blame the outside or they say that I'm wrong, even though I've been doing this for 10 years. I've ran into all kinds of clients. I've gotten into a rhythm of, of what drives results for them, what impacts their life. I've done this. I've been around. OK, respect the craft. But some of these folks, all they want to do is argue after they paid for me and never realize that they're the issue. I would not want to live my life that blind. I would not want to live my life that blind where you think you are not the problem, but yet you are repelling people. Okay. So you got to be cooperative. Cooperative does not mean that you're subservient. Does it mean that you just let people run, run on top of you? That does not, that is not what I'm talking about. Cooperative. Okay. Just like a business deal, just like when two world leaders are talking to each other, it means you can both come to the table, have a discussion. And even if you disagree, you can still keep the love going because you're trying to get a relationship going. Or if you're starting to get to know each other, be like, you know what? I hear you out. I don't agree with you, but I like other parts about you. So you know what? Um, I heard you out and I don't think it's going to jeopardize what we got going on. But again, I appreciate the discussion we had. Boom. People lack that discipline nowadays. They would rather fight and argue and be like, I can't believe you said that. Grow up, folks. Grow up. Get away from the stratosphere of your ego. How are you going to keep someone around if you are so used to arguing all the time? How? I mean, tell me. Tell me exactly how do you think you can keep someone if the only language you are speaking is, I got to prove my point. I got to be right. How? I'm not going to be around you. Not as a friend and let alone not, not dating. Okay, so again, folks, it is of high importance that you remember that these top two super weapons be a good conversationalist, understand the importance of getting chemistry going, of talking about something more than the basic. Okay, and if you need help with that, DM me, find me. Okay, I'm, I'm on all social media platforms, and the other part of that, you got to be able to you got to be able to cooperate. You got to be able to get along with yourself first and other people. If you are just in the business of, you know, whatever, you are not going to keep anyone around you. That is stanky, toxic energy. That's funky energy. No one wants to be around funky energy. Don't matter how nice you are, okay? If someone got some boo-boo breath, you're going to eventually tell them, hey, look, I love you, but man, you got to hydrate you got to go use some scope. You got you got to brush up them teeth, them gums. You're going to tell them after a while, okay? It's the same thing. If someone got boo-boo energy, stuff that you don't even want to be around, and they don't even realize their boo-boo energy is stinky, that's on them. Or the opposite, the beautiful part of that is, oh, man, this person want to want to have a conversation and wants to hear me out. I get to talk to them about my day. They're actually interested. They're listening. They remember about something I told them days ago instead of talking about just some, some Snapchat filter. Oh, wait a minute. This person heard me out. And even though they disagree, they still respected my game and being honest and sincere in what I believe in, even if they don't agree with it. Or on top of that, they make me more free to communicate on things we do agree on. So the libido is going to raise. The interest is going to raise. You're going to want to keep that person around your life. This is Chris, the Dating Doc, signing out. Peace.